most of you guys, the first five minutes of the game, I was going to get up and leave because we had to score. Um, it's weird, man. We, you know, we came out for whatever reason. We didn't make shots early. Uh, and, and I was okay with it because they only had six points. So I, I know everybody's like, man, we're going to. Everybody stopped panicking, but my deal was that just keep defending. They, they wasn't going anywhere. They only had six points. Uh, finally, we got going. It's weird because we didn't score the first five minutes of the half, but we ended the half with 44 points. Uh, I, I thought when you look at the first half, the two guys that were great were Braxton and obviously Sam Hunt. Uh, they did a tremendous job shooting the basketball. I think between the two of those guys, we may have had eight threes. Um, what a great game um, for us. Uh, another one. I'm proud of these guys. When you look at it, our main focus coming into this game was to, to defend the three-point line. Uh, those guys lead the ACC and made threes at 10 a game, and I thought we did a tremendous job uh, holding them 4 to 25 with, for 16%. Uh, when you look at Robinson and you look at Bowen, uh, Bowman, uh, those guys are elite guards. That's uh, one of the best backcourts in the country and the ACC, and I thought our guys, for the most part, stepped up to the challenge and did a great thing. Uh, you know, we had some great contributions from a lot of people. Um, it was good to see Malik get in there and do some different stuff. Um, I told the team after the, uh, after the game that when you're not playing well, you know, just root for your teammates, and I thought we did that. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited that this group has gotten to nine wins, um, and it means a lot protecting your home court. So I'll start off with questions. Sam's played really well for you guys the last few games, played a little bit more. What have you seen from him that you've liked so much? Well, I, I, I rested him for a bunch of games so he could go, go down the stretch. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, you know, I, I, I took the NBA approach with him. I, I just didn't let him play for four or five games. No, he's, he's shooting the ball well. I think somebody just told me or gave me a stat that he was 10 for 13, um, and I don't know how many games. You know, it, it's Sam's birthday. I didn't know it. Uh, if it would, I would have found him about three more minutes to play. Um, but I, he's been good. He's making shots for us. That shot he made in the corner by our bench was special. Coach, I had two questions for you. Yeah. One, Markel had a pad or something on his hand, his left hand in the second half. Did he have a cut or something? I, I have no idea. I don't know if it was a fashion statement or not. I don't have no, you know, I let the trainer deal with that. Uh, the only time I can tell you if, if, if he can't play, I'll know that. I don't know what happened. If he comes up here, you ask him. Oh, I'll ask him, and I'll tell you later on, but I, I don't know. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. When you guys started making all the shots, I think it was 13 in a row, and 17 in your last 19, what did you like about how you guys were executing offensively, and kind of what was your thinking as shot after shot is going in after you couldn't make one to start the game? Well, well I thought we made the right reads. Uh, when you look at us, you know, 19 assists on 29 made field goals. Uh, we did a good job. They, they took our role guy away with the corner man. And I thought our guards came off and find the corner shooters, and we were able to step up and make shots. But I thought we played well. We found a way to win uh, when I didn't think we were particularly sharp today. Even though when you look at us, we scored 82 points, uh, but we didn't we didn't play a, fall, a flawless game at all. I thought we, you know, certainly uh, we were a little rusty for whatever reason. Is there anything that, that triggered the switch to go from <coughs> 0 for 8 to 17 to, uh, for 19, or did it just kind of happen organically? Yeah, I think we had to score eventually, I hope, or we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> and, and not that, you know, that's uh, I, what, what happens is that I, I don't know why we roll for eight. If I got to go back and look at it, but I, I do remember a couple of things. I remember Lennard coming in thinking I'm going to get a lift. He missed a layup. Um, I, we missed free throws early. I mean, we just didn't play well. There's no explanation for the first five minutes of the game. And then, like I said, we found a way to get 44 points to, to be in the half. And, you know, if you look at the halftime score, we started uh, down 6-0 and went into half 44-28. to And so I, I think we're maturing as a team because, you know, obviously early on in the year, I'm not sure we could have came back from that when we didn't play well, you know. You just got to play in three games in seven days, I guess. Then you got a little break until Sunday night for the game. What do you want to get done these, these, this time here? Is this the time to, to rest them up a little bit at all? Or what do you think? Yeah, Steve, we're, we're going we're gonna to rest tomorrow. Um, and then I don't know how much that I'm going to do on Thursday. But I know tomorrow is um, we're definitely 100% off. Um, we may come back in um, on Thursday and, and do some film work, may get in the gym a little bit. But, I, you know, we're locked in. I, I told our guys, uh, you know, it's easy to say right now I'm banged up, I'm a little bit hurt. But who isn't? 
Uh, you know, everybody in the country that's still playing meaningful basketball has got some nicks and bruises, and certainly we got to be able to play through some of that. Now, if you're hurt, you're hurt. But, you know, I want our guys to be mentally strong at this point of the year. Is LeVar healthy, or did he play again tonight? So? LeVar's healthy. It was just more of a uh, coach's decision. Um, I, I needed some more shooters on the floor to be able to make some shots to open it up the way they were playing us. So he hasn't done anything wrong. You mentioned uh, getting shots in the corner. What is it about Sam that makes him such a good corner three-point shooter? And you specifically want guys in their comfort zone. Like, is Sam, is that his comfort zone? Yeah, you know what? He's always been, if you go back and look at the, the young man's career, he's always been a very good three-point shooter. Uh, you know, Sam Hunt's been a very good basketball player in his career. He has over 1,000 points. Um, so he's always been able to make shots, but it's tough. You, you, um, JC, it's rare that you get a guy that can make corner threes. A lot of guys can make it from the top of the key. A lot of guys can make it from the wing. But the three-point shooter is, is tough sometimes from the corner. But he's been huge for us the last few games. Kevin, I want to ask about, about Louisville. The banner's coming down now, but the championship's gone. You were part of that championship. What feelings do you have about what happened today? Well, I found out today, um, obviously, we were getting ready for a shoot-around. And um, obviously with social media I found out today, and, and all I'm going to say on it is I'm just disappointed. How, 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 much, how much more of an impact are these wins that you are having as we get closer to March? Are they for your team? How, how much bigger are they becoming for you guys right now with well, you being on the boat? I, I told you guys um, that you know this, this group of guys were in uncharted waters, um, and that was when we got to six wins. And so now it's getting deeper and deeper. I mean, we just, um, you know, every win builds confidence. And, you know, I, I know you're talking about bubbles and all that, but literally I don't even talk about it. I don't even know. I know these that there's a bunch of brackets and they say where you're at and all that other stuff. All I can control is just trying to win the next game. If you win the next game, it'll be 20, you know, and arguably the strongest conference in the country. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I don't want to know. Okay, I'm No, you can tell me that. Don't tell the players that when they come in here. Okay. But no, I'm, I'm excited. You listen, I won't take it for granted. You know, our guys have played very good basketball. You know, to have nine wins in this conference, uh, it means a lot. You know, I'm proud of these guys. Uh, I, I can't think of a, a game where they didn't give me tremendous effort and played hard. You know, we didn't do everything. We don't. In all of our games, I can't tell you that we've done everything right, but I can't tell you that we have played extremely hard. Do you believe 20 wins is deserving of a spot in the NCAA tournament regardless of what happens in the ACC tournament? That's not my decision. Um, I, I believe that we have done a lot of good things to be you know, considered as a NCAA team. Anything else for Coach? Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.